Hello, hello. So, as I said before, I was going to come back and um, talk to y'all about some of the purchases that I made. Um, except for the wax because I have not used it yet. Only thing I could tell you is that it do smell good. It's, it smells very strong on cold sniff. I'm going to first, what am I going to talk about first in this video? Y'all probably would want to talk about the wax warmer. So, I'm going to slide y'all over here because I want to show you something. This is a candle air fan fragrance warmer by Candle Warmers, etc. I had never heard of a fan fragrance warmer. I'm going to plug this up because I'm over by my outlet and show y'all what it do. You see this is the on and off switch right here. I don't know if you can hear, but you can hear the fan. This light, I think, is just for decoration purposes. It does not heat up the hot plate whatsoever. It doesn't even get hot. It just flickers. I think it gives it a nice illuminating effect when you put the lid over it. You know, you can see, like, the light flickering. Um... But I don't, I don't, it does not, I don't, I don't, it doesn't. I believe this is just a regular hot plate warmer because there's no bulb in the inside to heat it up. This is actually a 30 watt hot plate warmer. This thing is huge. I just want to show you the difference between this and a regular warmer. Like this is a blade. Look at that. So, I just wanted to come and plug this up for you to kind of show you. I, I think I'm going to put this one in my bedroom because I really, really like this one. But I'm not sure, and I'll explain to you why in a second. Let me just come back over here. Bring my camera back over here. I put this in my room last night. I bought two of these tins. You have to buy these in order to melt. And what the ladies are doing are, are they are buying scents that they like because you got to melt the wax first. And I think they smell pretty good. I mean, y'all know I've been doing a lot of warm scents. I don't do all those loud scents and stuff. And they scents are very limited. They don't have a whole, whole bunch. But I got, what did I get? I got Santa's Cookies and Frosted White Cake. And it smelled just like a Frosted White Cake. It was nice. It was um, warm. It was creamy. Um, it was consistent. I would say um, I ran this all night in my bedroom to, until this morning. <laughs> and um, I would say the scent was like about a seven, seven, eight. And it was nice. I smelt it all the way into my bathroom and it wasn't um, annoying to my sinuses or anything. It was just really nice, vanilla, creamy, warm. Um, I was even smelling this in my sleep. I was like in a light sleep. <laughs> and um, I was like, man, that smells good. But I ended up dumping it because I got anxious and I wanted to try my vendor wax in this. And I ended up putting in the wrong scent, which I thought it was the right scent. <coughs> I always told y'all that um, Melted Confections, um, I loved her because she worked very well in my bedroom and it didn't aggravate my uh, my sinuses, my allergies. I put in, um, and this is vendor wax in this one. I dumped out the frosted white cake. I should have just let it go ahead and melt until I didn't smell it anymore because it really was a nice scent. 
but I put in about an ounce and a half of Melted Confections um, Let Them Eat Cake. And I believe Let Them Eat Cake has a pink sugar in it or some type of a perfumey. But when I melted Let Them Eat Cake in the 20 watt or I'm looking at my laptop, so when I melted it in my regular warmers, <clears throat> it was very mild, very mellow. Y'all know what I'm saying? Um, it did not aggravate me in the least way. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to bring up her. Um, her scentless. It didn't annoy me in the least way. Well, when I put it in this fan warmer, oh my goodness, the um, whatever um, scent makes up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring up the let them eat cake. The whatever scent that is dominant in this let them eat cake. I was like, whoo, okay. I mean, this fan air warmer is very good. And a lot of the ladies were saying that they really liked it much better than their other warmers, but I was like, eh. So actually, there is no pink sugar. I guess it's the vanilla orchard or maybe the musk. It's sugar cane, coconut milk, vanilla orchard, white musk, vanilla bean, Noel. Whatever <coughs> that perfumey note, it must be the white musk that's in it. Um, it's the dominant note in this, and you can really, really smell it. It really, really came out. So it was starting to bother me just a little bit. And so I ended up bringing it downstairs into my family room down here and plugging it in um, just to see how it would do in a much bigger space and how far it would throw because clearly it was just overtaking my bedroom. Um, and it did very well down here. I was actually able to smell it upstairs in my loft from in my family room. And if you can see like my family room is behind me so if you go through that's my living room and then upstairs to my loft i was able to smell it going all the way upstairs going up the stairs and into my loft i ended up opening my patio door so it kind of got lost in the family room down here because the patio door and it's it's a nice breeze coming it was anyway um it was a nice breeze coming through this morning but as soon as you kind of started walking towards the living room and up the stairs and then when i got upstairs i can smell it really really well uh to let them eat cake so and i just turned it off so i could come you know show y'all this warmer in a uh, video but i've left the lid on so you can still smell it very much so with the lid on through the whole holes in the um in the thing Again, what I want to show you, this whole hot plate gets hot even around the sides. So I don't know if you, unless there's a, just a scent that you like and, you know, you want to, if you one of those that want to keep your stuff in for a couple of days, I'm not sure. These are four ounce tins. And again, it does get hot on the sides. So this whole thing, except for the plastic part, heats up. And this is what it looks like when it's in. So everything except for the plastic right here gets hot and melts. And so um, if you want to fill it up with four ounces, I guess you can do that. I just put about an ounce and a half. I ended up putting a one little chunk of my cuppy cake, <coughs> coconut cuppy cake in here just to kind of balance it out. And um, I really do like these warmers. I think I like these so much to the point where I'm ready to replace, like get two more or at least one more because I have two already. Um, and I really like this one. I really want to put this in my bedroom, but I just don't want to do it to where to overtake 
you know, to where I was before. You know, I wanted to stay mild. So I'm not 100% sure. I need to try another scent to see how I do because that's bothersome. This is the other one that I got, which is not as big, but still pretty big. It has the lid. It's like a nice little spring summer. It's supposed to be like a beehive type of thing. It does the same things, fit the same four ounce tin. It's just the body is smaller on it. These things come with a lid. So if it's a scent that you put in one of these candle tins and say you don't want to um, dump it, but you want to go on to another scent and you have more of these tins empty, you just take it and put the cap on it. Let's see? Just take it and put the cap on it and put it back into your um, your wax storage or whatever. So, and it has the same thing on it, little on and off switch. They came, They I got mine pretty quick. I will say candles, warmers, etc. They do not send out shipping notices. Um, it's basically you order. If you want to find out some information, you can call them. They do answer the phone and they will tell you where your order is, but they don't send out shipping. They don't send out tracking. Once you buy, they send you your receipt and that's it until your um, box shows up. And I think it comes FedEx from what the lady had told me, but some people say they waited a long time. Mine's came rather quickly. Um, she told me it takes about 10, day, 10 days because they ship FedEx ground, which I thought FedEx ground would take about five days. Clearly she didn't know what she was talking about, but mine's came rather quickly. And so again, for these two warmers, this one, and I believe they're $29.99 to $39.99. Let me look up. Um, so I could give you the right Im information. Do, do, do. And then shipping is pretty cheap too. I think their shipping is only $5.99. So whatever you order your shipping is $5.99 <clears throat> so actually these are $39.99 these candle air um, fan fragrance warmers are $39.99 all they have one two three four they have six different um, types you know looks types the, the word I'm looking for is escaping me but they have six different um, types, and they're all can't, you know, styles, I should say. Six different styles. They're all $39.99. And then the um, the candle air tins are $8.99 each. And they have an array of scents. They have a long page, just one long page of uh, different scents that you can try for $9. So I got two tins and two warmers for $53 of some, and some change with shipping when I posted the, once I put in the code, the discount code. So yeah, so that's it. So these are my warmers. I love them. I'm very glad that I went and took that plunge and I tried them because I said $40. Shall I please? I was like, and the ladies were saying that they love theirs, but it wasn't a whole lot of feedback. You know, it wasn't a lot of ladies that said that they had bought one and tried it. It was only maybe like two, you know? So it's just like $40. So I said, you know what? It's a huge, I think I got like 20 something dollars off. It, you know, set for the discount, I was like, nah, I'll give it a try. It can't be that much more bad than, you know, any other warmer, as long as it warms, I guess. I don't know. So I went on ahead and took the plunge. So thank y'all for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Peace.